Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll be giving you an overview of how to work with equations at the assembly level. In my graphic area, I've got a base and a washer. Let's right click on the annotations folder in the design tree and select show feature dimensions. Let's double click on the diameter dimension. In order to create an equation, just type the equal sign. Now we've got the option to use a function, file properties, or bring in the measure tool. For this example, I want the diameter of my washer to be three quarters the diameter of my base. Let's double click on the base. Click this dimension. Now multiply asterisk by 0.75 and click accept. Let's update our assembly now. Now to edit that equation, just double click. And here we can edit the syntax. Or we can toggle between the equation and the value display. In order to delete the equation, just select it and press delete on your keyboard. Let's cancel out. In my feature manager design tree, here's the equations folder. Let's right click on this new folder and select Manage Equations. So from this dialog window we can manage the equations as well as global variables. Let's cancel out of this window for now. Another way to get to this window is via Tools, Equations. And let's cancel out again. Next I'm going to create a simple hole in my base. Let's start with the Simple Hole tool. Assembly Features, Simple Hole. Now let's select the face where we'll place the hole. Let's position the hole at the center of the base. We'll give it a diameter of 20 millimeters. And extent will be through all, except. What I'd like is that the diameter of my hole in the base matches the diameter of the hole in the washer. For this example, I'm going to use a variable to make that happen. Let's double click on this dimension. And once again, let's begin with an equal sign. Now let's type in the variable name, myVar. myVar is simply the name of this variable, and you can use any name for your variable, basically. So what a variable does is store value. Since my dimension is 20 millimeters, my variable stores the value of 20 millimeters. Let's click Create Global Variable. That's this little globe here. And here's our variable. Once again, we can toggle between the value and the variable. And let's click OK. Now let's learn how to create the variable in a different way. First I'll delete this. Let's enter a value of 20 millimeters and click Accept. Now let's right click on Equations, Manage Equations. Here's my variable. Of course currently this variable isn't used anywhere. Now let's create a second variable. I'll call it myVar2, and I can do that right from this dialog window. We can assign its value here as well. Equals 10 millimeters. Let's click Accept. As you may have noticed, we do have the ability to input the units of measurement or not. I can also select the units of measurement from this drop-down menu here. Now let's say you're not using units, you're not inputting them here, and let's say you enter a value of 10, and you're currently working in millimeters, but later on you or someone else that's working with your file switches the units of the project to centimeters, then your dimensions are going to distort. So this is something to keep in mind if you're sharing your work. Let's click OK, and let's double click on the dimension. Now we've got our global variable here. Notice that 20 is a unitless value, but 10 is listed here with millimeters. 
Let's multiply it by 2 and click OK. Now let's go back to our tree, expand the hole, double click on the sketch, and double click on the dimension. Let's begin with an equal sign, then select global variables, and let's multiply it by 2, click accept, and OK. Now these equations obviously exist only at the assembly level. This one too here, of course. Let's see what happens when I try to open for part editing. Let's right click on my part, select Edit Part, and let's click OK. Now let's see what happens when I try to edit the equation. SolidWorks lets me know that Dimension 2 at Sketch 1 is read only. I am not able to edit it from here. Let's exit. And let's right-click on Equations, Manage Equations. I'm going to remove the units and click OK. Now let's switch from millimeters to centimeters, for example. So I'll double-click on the sketch to launch it for editing. And let's open the dimensions. Now instead of 20 millimeters, I've got 20 centimeters. Let's switch it back to millimeters. And this concludes our overview of working with equations at the assembly level.